yesterday I went shopping and I didn't get loads of stuff because I couldn't really afford to go but I did get some things that I want to share with you um, is, so this is my bargain small haul video um, I'm going to start off with the cosmetic sort of things that I bought um, and first this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara it's like that and the brush looks like that. Um, it's really, really good mascara, and this was four ninety nine on offer. Um, they've got a sale on at the minute. Um, or Rimmel have got um, like just a couple of pounds off some mascaras there. So I thought I'd try this out, and it's a they call it volume flash. So essentially, it's just. Uh, Volumising mascara and it says, just, I don't know if you'll be able to see it actually, it says no clumps there, just there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. I I tend to like quite big lashes, um, but yeah, I, I do like it and I will definitely get it again. Um, I just think that one, for, just for me personally, because I like big lashes, lashes, lashes <laughs> um, one thing that I do like is obviously the big lashes, even for the daytime. Um, so I'd put this on a couple of coats of this, and while it's still wet, just add a quick coat of a uh, lengthening mascara. And I don't know why there's crazy stuff going on with my camera, like my face is changing colour and things. So if that shows up in the actual final cut, then I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. So bear with me. Um, and then I also got, uh, I opened this last night for the first time. I haven't used any of these products yet. Um, the Maybelline Lasting Drama, oh, Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. Uh, just looks like that in the box. Um, and it comes with a brush as well. It's quite, and I got it in intense black. Uh, this was originally seven ninety nine, I think it was, and you'll see it in a minute, it's a tiny, tiny pot. Like you can see a picture of the pot there. It's not that big, even on the side of the, it's not, it's a lot smaller than that. Um, so I wasn't really prepared to pay that much money for it, um, but it had gone down to four ninety nine in Superdrugs. Um, and I'll just show you that. Um, yeah, that is how big it is. And that's the brush that you get with it. That's the brush there. Um, yeah, so I really like that. And that's what it looks like. Um, I've been after a decent quality gel line. I, do have, I did have some quite, ones that were quite expensive, but they haven't been very very good so I wanted a decent quality one and I had read great reviews about this so I will let you know what it's going to be like um yeah I'm going to do a video with swatches of these on so I'll show you what this looks like actually on and then I can tell you what it's like um and then the final thing that I got this is from Superdrugs as well I think it's the only place that's like a high street or drugstore that actually stock this brand unless you buy it online or you know an independent shop that sell it. But I got the Sleek palette. Um, I got mine in Storm and I'll show you that's what it looks like on the back. It tells you that I was looking for a palette. I do have the MAC 120 colour palette which is my favourite thing of all time. But I, I wanted one that I could take around with me because the 120 colour palette is quite big and I can't carry it around every day just in case I need to top up my makeup or anything. Um, so I wanted one that was quite natural colours, like everyday sort of things, or that I could wear for night as well. Um, so I wanted that. Um, in the box, you get this leaflet with it and that tells you about some of the other products 
they have the lipsticks are very very good I highly recommend them uh, and this was 6 49 which I didn't think was too bad you get 12 colors in the palette and that's what it looks like um, and then it's pretty much the same as the box on the back and I'll just give that a look and that's the inside of the palette let's just take it back a bit that's the in oh just drop the brush and it comes with an with a sponge applicator a double ended one and I don't really like those so I don't think I'll be using that much but yeah and it's got a nice mirror so it's compact and things yeah it's really nice I really really like it um there's only three matte colours in and it's this one here and these two here on the end the rest is shimmery and I don't know if you, if that comes across on camera yeah just a tiny tiny bit but yeah the rest are shimmery um, and I thought that I'd be able to use this fur every day and just be able to carry it around with me so that was my reason for buying but I definitely definitely will be buying more of these palettes and um, they have one called acid which is really really nice but it's definitely not for the like the faint hearted or they're not very confident. I definitely won't be wearing it every day because um, that's not my everyday style. The only sort of colour I like on my face is my eyeliner which is generally black um, through the day and my lipstick. So, But I will let you know and I will probably film possibly tomorrow depending on what time I get back from university but I will film swatches of that eyeliner and of each of those uh individual pots in the sleek palette um so these aren't very cosmetic -y, but i also i went into new look i really wanted to get some wedges for the day like wintry ones i have plenty of summer ones but not many wintry ones and i really really wanted a pair either to go out like as a night out in or um everyday ones and i, I intended on buying two pairs like an everyday pair and a nighttime pair. Uh, I have size 8 feet and I do have quite wide feet as well so trying to find shoes in a general high street store is quite difficult. Not like flat shoes or like pumps or like flats or anything like that it's just heels I tend to struggle with. Um, but the shops like Evans and things they do like actual width sizes so they're quite good. Um, a new look, do a wide fit section, um, as do Primark as well. And Primark's wide fit shoes are some of the best ones that I've had. Um, so I went into new look, tried on a pair there. They only had one pair that I really liked in my size. I went to the till and there was a big watermark on them so I didn't get them. Um, even though I was offered a 10% discount, they were non-refundable. But they were really nice and they're very similar to the wedges that I've actually got to show you. But first, I went into Primark and I bought some everyday flat shoes. Now, I've wore these once today and they're so comfortable. They were £6. These are a size 8. Yeah, size 8, obviously, because that's the size I am. Um, they are wide fit. Although they don't actually look wide fit. I think they look quite thin, but they are very, very nice. Um, and I don't know if you can see but they're quite cushiony, cushioned on the inside. Yeah, overall very nice shoe. And they've actually got quite a fair bit of grip for Primark shoes. Uh, yeah, so very nice for everyday shoes. And they have these in this colour, this sort of tan colour. Black, white, uh, grey, blue and purple I think. And I think they may have had like an emerald green colour in there as well. Uh so these are my favourite shoes I've bought in a long time I really like them um, and they're these they're my wedges uh, in the end I actually got them from Primark uh, that's what they're like they're not actually very tall they're quite nice they're about I don't know I don't know how big is that I don't know how big that is but they're sort of like 
sort of brog, brogy sort of look. Um, they're like suede. Well, they do. <laughs> they said real leather on the label, but I paid a tenner for them. They were twenty pound reduced to ten. They had a lot left, um, and I honestly don't know why they were in the sale. But I'm really, really pleased with them. These aren't wide fit. They're regular fit. But they are very, very forgiving. They mould perfectly to your shape. And I wore these once last night when I went out. And they are really comfortable. Like, you know when you wear heels and sometimes you have to take them off? These are really, really comfortable. Yeah, I really, really like them. And the laces are really long as well, so you can either tuck them in or tie them. Um, I think I tied mine. But normally I do tuck them in on boots. But no, I really like these. And I wore these actually with a dress and tights last night, so then they're not like they do look pretty casual. Like especially from the front, they look like builders' boots, but they are re they can be dressed up really really nicely. Um, and then I popped out in them today because I'm trying to wear them in. Um, I popped out in leggings and a big coat today, and they did look pretty nice then. And they were twenty pounds reduced to ten. And they have loads in, and I asked my mum to have a look at the one in Leeds, and they have a lot in there as well, she said. So I presume they'll have a lot in your local Primark, but don't hold me to that, because I bought those from Manchester, and then my mum looked in Leeds. So that might not be the case. However, they did have a lot of very similar ones, so you can always have a look if you fancy a pair of them. Um... And that's it. That's my small bargain haul. So I think all together there, there's about, there's 16 and then there there's um, six, 17 pounds. So I spent, my maths is terrible, I spent 33 pounds, I don't know, however much I spent in the 30s for all that, which I don't think was too bad. Um, so yeah, so let me know if you want to know anything else about any of the products I've shown you or any products that are very similar because the likelihood is that I will have tried it um yeah so and let me know as well if there's anything that you want to find out about um and just going back to these really quickly if anyone's got a different palette that they can recommend that I use because th this is the first one I've had so I'm not going to lie and say, oh, it's fantastic, it's really good, because I haven't honestly tried it yet, but it does look very good. And I had a quick look at the colours when I was in the shop, and they're really nice, like I tested on the back of my hand. So if any, anyone can recommend any of the other palettes, then I would be really grateful for that. Um, And that's all. So I'm really sorry if this is either rushed or really long. Um, I look a mess, but I couldn't sleep so it's like it's half past 12 midnight so yeah so I'm real tired and now I'm gonna go try and get back to sleep um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful um so I'll see you all later